The cradle of modern British power boats lies in a sleepy Hampshire village across the water from Southampton in a place called Hythe. It is said that the name Hythe is derived from the term for a dry landing place and today there is little or no reminder that the reclaimed land which is now a housing estate next to an existing boatyard is the site of the place that gave birth to the modern power boat. The entrepreneur responsible for the British power boat company based at Hythe was the same person who as managing director of Supermarine employed R.J. Mitchell and went on to win the Schneider race for flying boats three times in a row, thereby keeping the trophy outright. Hubert Scott Payne had a thirst for speed and when he sold his interest in Supermarine in 1927 he decided to invest in the old boatyard at Hythe. However, when the yard burnt down in 1931 he was determined to build the most advanced power boat yard in the world and went on to fulfill his own ambition in 1933 to claim the record for the fastest boat on seawater with Miss Britain 3, which can now be seen in the Maritime Museum at Greenwich in London. This was achieved by what aircraftsman T. E. Shaw, better known as Lawrence of Arabia, an employee at the boatyard at the time called a little revolution we have made in boat design, which he said owe oh, to me their opportunity and their acceptance. He described how all boats were derived from the first hollow tree with only a fin called a keel to delay their rolling about and over. They progressed by pushing their own bulk of water aside. Instead, in 1935, he described how we have found it chosen, selected and derived our own sorts. They have power for power, three times the speed of their predecessors, less weight, less cost, more room, more safety, more seaworthiness. As their speed increases, they rise out of the water and run over its face. They cannot roll nor pitch, having no pendulum nor period, but a subtly modelled planing bottom and sharp edges. What he described as the little revolution we now know as the hard chine applied to all power boats. Hubert Scott Payne led the Admiralty in the UK to accept the motor torpedo boat into service although they went on to favour another derivative of the original design. Similarly he travelled to America at the beginning of the Second World War in 1939 with a prototype called PT-9, which competed in what became known as the Plywood Derby for rival designs. The US Navy was so impressed that President Roosevelt is said to have asked Hubert Scott Payne how many he could build and how fast. It is now generally accepted that it was his design that was the forerunner of all patrol torpedo boats or PT boats employed by the USA in the Second World War. This was the type of boat that the later President J.F. Kennedy commanded and went on to rescue General Douglas MacArthur from Corridor in the Philippines. Despite the significance of his contribution to the development of naval engineering, it is Hubert Scott Payne's feat whilst at Supermarine for which he is remembered on the blue plaque commemorating his lifetime achievement and his maritime role, like the boatyard he founded, has almost disappeared from the historical record.